This is an actual life-size model of what is affectionately known as Percy, uh, is up there on Mars now that they were able to create. And right here in the front, you can see up here, this is where they have some cameras where we're getting these new images that we're gonna show to you on the screen right now to say that they've been able to take pictures and they are now in high definition. And the other really cool thing is that there is audio involved now too, that we're gonna get sound and video that is going to come back that's probably gonna be next week, but these new images, getting to see what we are seeing up there in a new way. And there's so much new technology that is involved here. And I know I'm walking away from our rover there very slowly, but one of the new things that's on there is a helicopter that will in short time be flying up there in space. And what's really noteworthy about this little contraption, it's the first time a helicopter is flying on another planet, but also the atmosphere on Mars is so thin. And so I spoke to Robert Hogg, he's the deputy mission manager, about what this means to entail to get this machine up and going. Take a listen. When I talk to students, I say, blow your, your face with your hand. Okay, you would feel one one hundredth of what you feel. That's how much uh, uh, atmosphere there is on Mars. And yet we've built a machine that can fly in that atmosphere. And, and, and control itself autonomously and, and take images and then land again. Which is amazing. And the other thing that's really noteworthy is right here, this is where they're gonna be taking samples of the ground there on Mars and then storing them away in titanium that will later be picked up and brought back to Earth so we can eventually see what this means for humanity to actually get to Mars and learning more about what the planet is and whether or not there was actually life ever there on the planet.